A car is traveling at 48 miles per hour. If its tires have a diameter of 26 inches, how fast are the car's tires turning in revolutions per minute? First, let's identify what information is given. The car is traveling at 48 miles per hour. That's its linear speed, or its velocity. Next, the tires have a diameter of 26 inches, but in these problems we're interested in using the radius, not the diameter. So let's cut this 26 in half. The radius is 13 inches. We're looking to determine how fast the car's tires are turning. We're looking for the rotational velocity omega. We do have an equation to express the relationship between velocity, radius, and rotational velocity. The velocity is equal to the radius times the rotational velocity. If we solve this equation for omega, divide both sides by r, here's the equation we can use to solve this problem. Before we use this equation, we need to make sure that all of the units in this problem agree. So anywhere where we are using units of distance, they need to be in the same units. Here in velocity, it's in miles, but our radius is measured in inches. And velocity also uses hours, but we want our answer for rotational velocity to use minutes. So we need to convert our units first. My preference is to convert large units into smaller units. So I'm going to convert miles down into inches and hours down into minutes. Starting with 48 miles per hour, I'll convert the miles down into inches. Now I don't know how many inches are in a mile, but I do know how many feet are in a mile. One mile equals 5,280 feet. I chose to put miles in the denominator to cancel with those miles up in the numerator. And it, right now we're looking at feet per hour. Now let's go and change the feet into inches. We know there are 12 inches and 1 foot, and this 1 foot in the denominator will cancel our units of feet in the numerator there. And now we're looking at inches per hour. Let's now change the hours into minutes. One hour in the numerator to cancel out the units of hour in the denominator here. And now we're left with units of inches per minute. And that matches with radius measured in inches and rotational velocity that will be in minutes. Multiplying all the numerators together and then dividing by 60 leaves us with 50,688 inches per minute. That's the speed of this car. Now we can go and use this formula. Omega equals V over R. Velocity is in the numerator, the radius is in the denominator, and this fraction equals approximately 3,899 and 8 hundredths. What are our units? We can see that the inches cancel and we're left with something per minute. With rotational velocity, this unit that is missing is radians, a dimensionless unit radians. So we're looking at 3,899 and 8 one hundredths radians per minute as the rotational velocity but we want our answer to be in revolutions per minute. So we need to do one more conversion, knowing that there are two pi radians in one revolution. That gives us the result of 620.56 revolutions per minute.